Welcome back to the Sunday Sky Foundation series, where we help you get familiarized with tips and tools in the platform to set your videos up for success. In this second video, we'll follow up on the platform basics and introduce some creative options to help you bring the look and feel of your videos in line with your creative vision. When you first start creating, some things including text sizing and the use of color are set for you, based on your brand configuration and Sunday Sky's best practices for video creation. The platform also offers you the creative freedom to make visual changes that bring your ideas to life. Here we'll show you how to exercise your creativity and build a great video. In general, most of the tools we'll cover in this video will be available in the workspace. Depending on the placeholder you select, a toolbar will display with the relevant options. When you click a scene in the lineup and open the three dot menu, you will see some options to configure the entire scene. Let's explore how we use and change each one of the options. To start adding content, click the three dot menu above the scene. We recommend you begin by giving your scene a name. It's also good practice to add a scene description that explains your scene's purpose and main message. You can make visual changes to each scene. First, you can adjust the way your brand colors are used. When you click switch colors, a window will open on screen with alternate combinations of your brand colors. Next, you can also change the layout of the scene. When you click switch layout, a window will open up with several options. Remember, layouts don't change your scene's contents, they only affect the visual composition. Now let's start adjusting individual placeholders. Once you click a placeholder, the toolbar will show you your configuration options. Each scene is made up of several placeholders, including some for on-screen text, like the ones that light up as I hover over them, and others for visuals and media, like this placeholder here. Every scene also includes a narration placeholder. You can choose to remove placeholders you don't need. Double-click the placeholder or click the pencil icon and then delete the text. For media assets, double-click it or click the pencil and then click the trash icon. Additionally, you can show or hide your logo by clicking it and then selecting the eye icon. Now let's take a closer look at how you can work with on-screen text placeholders. On-screen text should show the key detail, topic, or main point of the scene. This anchors the message into one clear line while the narration takes the time to explain it. To start, click the text placeholder. The toolbar has editing options that you can use to change the font size, align text, change text color, or add a background color to highlight your text. Having identified the key message in your scene, you can now begin writing narration. There's no limit to the amount of narration a single scene can have, but to keep viewers engaged, we recommend keeping the narration under 20 seconds per scene. Let's transition to the media placeholder. Most scene templates have a placeholder dedicated to media, which can be an image, custom animation, or video footage. I can add media by selecting the placeholder and clicking the pencil icon to open up the editing window. From here, I can go into the media library, where I can upload any media from my computer, or search the millions of stock videos and images available in the stock library. Whether you upload your own or decide on a stock visual, just select it and click Use. Once you actually see the media in your scene, you may decide you want to make a few tweaks. Select the pencil icon next to the media thumbnail to crop the image or trim down footage to a specific part. In Media Placeholder menu, you can try different scaling options for your media, change its alignments in the space, or opt for a simple solid color instead of a media asset. If you happen to be using a still photo or image, you might want to add on an extra animated effect to your media. Now for the exciting part, the preview. If you haven't already, you can preview your work at any time by clicking the purple preview button above the lineup. Once you hit the play icon, the video will generate in real time, so you can bring out the popcorn. Right above the player, you'll see the sound settings where you can adjust the volume of the voiceover and music, or any sound effects. You can play the scene back until you determine what experience is right for your viewer. The share feature allows you to post, download, or review your video. You can post your videos to social media once you've connected your accounts. Additionally, you can download your video as an MP4 file or export your video script. The script PDF includes a thumbnail of each scene along with the on-screen text and voiceover. Lastly, you can share your video for review and comments with your co-collaborators. That wraps up the more in-depth look at the platform features. We hope you feel prepared and excited to jump in and create. For more information about all the topics discussed in this video, check out our Help Center and video guides. And as always, feel free to reach out. Happy creating!